When, when Roger Peterson was working on his first field guide in the 1930s, there was no way it could have been illustrated with photographs because bird photography was in its infancy at that point. There weren't the good telephoto lenses. It just wouldn't have been possible to illustrate a guide with photos. So we didn't see any field guides illustrated with photographs until around the 1970s, 1980s, at which point there were just barely enough good photos that you could construct a guide that had pictures of everything. So Roger Peterson never really thought about doing a field guide illustrated with photos because when he started, it wasn't something that really could be done. In later years, there was this ongoing debate, uh, should guides be illustrated with paintings or with photos? And of course, a photograph has a lot of problems no, uh, for identification. No matter how good the photo is, when you have different photos taken at different times, different light conditions, different types of film, back when we used film, um, you can have two birds that are really very similar and in the photos they'll look strikingly different just because of those conditions. I mean, you think about how many people look like the photo on their driver's license. Uh, photos can really be misleading. Um, so among serious birders there's been sort of a bias against using photos in field guides. I've actually done uh, my own field guide to birds and the way I got around that problem was to use photographs but to do a lot of digital editing on them. Um, I, in some cases I would spend two or three hours just on one photo changing it uh, to make it look like an unretouched photo. Um, but I, I would like to think that uh, that approach of using the digitally edited photos and lining them up side by side is something that Roger Peterson would have found interesting and intriguing. Uh, he passed away just before I started working on my field guide, so we never really had a chance to talk about it. But he was so interested in experimentation and so interested in photography himself that I think if he had lived longer, he might have tried to, to dabble in that approach himself.